congratulations to Old Town Fishing for winning Best of Boats and Watercrafts at ICAST 2023 with the re latest release of the Big Water EPDL Plus 132 kayak. Now this boat was very impressive to me in many different ways, which we're going to jump into into this video later on. But a question I got to ask for you is, do you think Old Town should have won the award? And do I think Old Town should have won the award? What about the native watercraft Titan X 12.5 and Titan X 10? Do you think they got shorthanded on this? These are all questions I'm going to answer in this video, give you my full opinion, as well as which one of the two boats I actually already pre-ordered. So let's dive into it. So ICAST 2023 just wrapped up yesterday, Friday, and there was a lot of good and bad things that caught my attention from all the content I've seen from the show. But today we're going to be talking about strictly the two kayaks, the brand new Old Town EPDL and the native watercraft Titan X 125 Propel. Now I know a lot of the Old Town fans feel let down. I've read all the comments. Majority of the people that are uh, through and through Old Town fans, they feel let down by this drop of the new kayak. One thing you have to consider what Old Town is doing is that they are constantly evolving and they're always looking for that next and newest customer. And I believe that's what they're doing with this EPDL that they released on the Big Water 132 platform. So let's start right there. The Old Town Big Water EPDL Plus 132 is a power assisted pedal drive kayak. Very similar to what you would find in the e-bikes, the bicycles that have become very popular these days, the electronic assist pedal drive, very similar to that, but now it's integrated in a fishing kayak. You can manually pedal the kayak. You can use the power assisted option where you're pedaling and the power from the battery assist with your pedaling. Or you can go full on power with cruise control, which in my opinion, this is a very awesome and user friendly feature. To have power on a pedal drive included right in it as one unit is honestly game changing in my opinion. And my hat's off to Old Town for coming up with such a cool pedal drive. Now this kayak is basically spec'd out identical to the Big Water 132 PDL platform, the original 132 platform with a few upgraded features like a wider rear tank well, some deeper cup holders, you know, et cetera, things like that to make the boat a little more user friendly. The specs of the boat is a 13 foot, two inch long boat that is 36 inches wide and has a weight of 96 pounds. It has a capacity of 500 pounds, which will allow you to really load it down with extra gear, batteries. Um, if you're a bigger dude, it still leaves you room to pack on a bunch of gear, cooler. You know, if you're doing a day trip, you can load this boat down with pretty much everything but the kitchen sink and get away with it and still be safe out on the water. So it comes with a 36 amp hour amped outdoors lithium battery that they claim will last for days if you're using it as a pedal assist option only. So if you just got that motor kicked on a little bit to help you pedal around, you're going to get, from what they say, days worth of battery. Now, if you're using it on full on cruise control mode where you're not pedaling, you got it cranked up to level five and you're using the motor 100%, you're going to get about an average of three hours of life out of this battery. Comes with a two year warranty on the drive and a limited lifetime warranty from Old Town on the whole. Price tag of roughly $6,000 delivered. Now, one thing you need to understand if you don't already know is that this pedal drive is made exclusively for this kayak. It'll only work in this kayak. You cannot take this pedal drive out and put it into the original Big Water 132. So you cannot just acquire the pedal drive if you already own a Big Water 132. Sorry to tell you, you can't go buy that pedal drive and put it in your kayak. You have to essentially buy the entire kit itself. And now I hope that something they change as Old Town continues to uh, grow and evolve, that they make maybe an updated version of the EPDL or make it universal to be able to use it in all their PDL kayaks. Okay, so enough about Old Town. Let's dive into the native watercraft Titan X125 or 12.5 Propel kayak. This kayak is 100% made 
for serious anglers by serious anglers. I believe Native knocked it out of the park with this kayak. I watched the video from Greg Blanchard doing his fully loaded walkthrough, and I was blown away by this boat. So let's quickly break it down. We're going to get into uh, what you're going to get in the Native Tight next. You're going to get battery storage for days in the front and the rear of the kayak. You're going to have access ports, power length located all over this boat to make ease of access for wiring and adding switches and power ports from one end to the other of the boat. They also integrated a new 360 pivot seat where it stays locked when you're sitting forward. You pull the lever up and you're able to pivot around 360. It will not lock in position other than the forward facing position, but this is a really cool option for a fishing kayak like this because for me, I find myself on my boat a lot of time turning around and reaching to grab a new rod, grab some tackle, and you kind of leave yourself vulnerable to potentially taking a wave and tipping out of the kayak. So to be able to pivot the seat is a game changer. A newly designed spring blade rudder that can be used in both positions. So whether you have the rudder up on the bottom of the hole, so here's the bottom of the hole, whether the rudder is up or it's down, you can use it either way. So if you're in some skinny water and you want to put the rudder up, it still is just below the hull of the kayak where it still is able to be useful. But then you can drop the rudder down and use it as you would your normal uh, rudder for your kayak. This thing has pre-drilled mounting on the bow for what they say is a motor drive XI3 trolling motor already set up, pre-drilled. You don't have to drill any holes into this kayak for that. It is also pre-drilled at the stern for any accessories you want to add, like shallow water anchors, such as the uh, micro <coughs> power pole, or a stern mounted motor like the NK180, Torquedo, whatever you want to do. It's already ready to go. You just got to buy those modifications and simply install them. Now for the specs of the native Titan X 12.5, it is a 12 foot 8 inch long boat. It is 40 inches wide. This is a wider boat than your Hobie Pro Angler 14. It has also a 500 pound capacity, similar like the Old Town, um, except this boat's quite a bit shorter, but you're getting a lot more width. You're getting four more inches of width out of the na native Titan X. Now they haven't uh, released the exact weight of the boat, uh, completely empty, fully rigged, but in my opinion, I'm guessing it's going to be right around that 100 pound range like most of the kayaks this size are. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but I think you're going to be talking about something right in that 100 pound range. So something you're not going to want a car top. Um, <clears throat> you could put in the back of a pickup truck with a bed extender or like I do with my uh, Feel Free Dorado, I would recommend trailering the kayak. Now for the price tag of the Native Titan X. It's uh, right around $3,600 shipped, which in my opinion is a pretty affordable kayak considering what you're getting. And if you decide to add that over the bow trolling motor or the stern mounted NK180 from Newport or the Torquedo or a Bixby, it's still going to keep you right about that $5,000 range. So still, even if you want to add that motor option, uh, you're still going to be quite a bit less money um, in as opposed to the Old Town 132 Big Water. EPDL. So it is my opinion that both companies extremely knocked it out of the park with the kayaks that they released at ICAST this year. My hat's off to Old Town for winning the award of Best Boats and Watercrafts in the show and coming up with a new way to get new anglers into the sport by introducing the electronic assist pedal drive. My hat's also off to Native Watercraft for releasing the Titan X 12.5. This thing is a kayak, a fishing kayak that is built for war. It is ready, rigged ready, basically plug and play. And this thing from bow to stern is ready to add any options that you're ready to add to the kayak, as well as integrated a lot of cool features with the under the seat storage, the Plano tackle box holder on your side, both sides, all the little details. They did not waste an inch of space on this kayak, and my hat's off to Native Watercraft for really knocking it out of the park with the Titan X. So to answer the question, do I think Old Town earned the award of Best Boat in Watercraft for Show at ICAST 2023? And the short answer is yes. I believe they did a really good job 
re-engineering the pedal drive system they had by integrating a power assist pedal drive. And again, I said it earlier, to have the ability to power and pedal all in one unit is honestly game changing. And I think it's really going to help get some new anglers into the kayak fishing sport that necessarily don't want a motor, they don't want to paddle, but they don't want to pedal all the time. So to have that little extra boost when they're out on the water, whether it's running out or running back in, but have that little extra boost at the end of the day or the beginning of the day, um, <clears throat> I think that's really going to turn on a lot of new customers and bring more people into the kayak fishing industry. So to answer another question from the beginning, which kayak did I already pre-order? Well, if you guessed the Old Town Big Water EPDL 132 Plus, you are 100% wrong. As of Thursday morning, I am one of the first ones to have pre-ordered the new native Titan X 12.5 Propel, and I am beyond excited. As an avid angler, a tournament angler, I'm extremely excited for this boat, although I won't see it or have my hands on it until sometime in September, October. I promise you guys, you're going to be one of the first ones to see it once I get it. And I'm going to rig this thing to the max in a live scope, which I'm going to be taking from my current kayak. We're going to be rigging this thing out, making it fully customizable for how I want to fish. And the reason I chose it was because I love the massive amount of battery storage. I love the platform as a whole. But for me, I run a lot of electronics and I do like the option of having a battery in the front and the back so if i decide to go with the over the bow trolling motor i can have my power right there or if i go with the nk 180 or a uh, torquedo or something like that a stern mounted motor i've got battery power right to the back but i don't feel like you can have too much battery power on the kayak especially for tournament angling and for me the native titan x i just fell in love with it after watching greg blanchard's full walkthrough i watched that thing about five times guys and i i honestly was was it was love at first sight so got with my local dealer they actually deal with native put the order in thursday and i'm hoping to have that thing um, i'm hoping to be able to get it on the water this fall before the lakes freeze over for the winter which brings me to my next point you guys if you haven't yet uh consider subscribing to the channel hit the little subscribe button there hit the bell notification click it to all that way you're notified every time i upload a new video like this one and you're made aware the second I upload it. And hey, speaking of fishing kayaks, if you guys are new or a seasoned vet to kayak fishing, I'm gonna leave a little video for you right here that you can watch. It's a list of mistakes that I have made over the years of kayak fishing that I cover, I personally made, and by watching it, it'll hopefully help you avoid some of these mistakes. And if there's some mistakes that I have missed or you guys have made that you think are important, bring them to my attention in the comments so we together collectively can grow with the sport of kayak fishing. So thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you on the next one.